Hey everybody, Tom here for Beyond Walt Disney Planet. I am in Brooksfield Zoo. This is a fantastic, nice sized zoo in uh, Chicago, Illinois. First time here, nice sized property. Once I get to a map of the place, I will show you guys. Uh, main entrance, there's a big carousel. Nice big area, shops around. So we're gonna start on one part of the street and go around and see all the animals. They're showing you different prices that they have. They got a do-it-all ticket or build a ticket. They also have membership. I got my ticket with a Groupon, so I saved almost $10. So my ticket was only $16.97 plus tax. A big old bull statue. All right, first area you come up to is Australia. All right, a spiny tailed monitor. or just two in here but could be all one just really really long snake a green tree monitor guys moving all around cool looking all right an echidna not a porcupine. Oh, she's gonna be hard to see because of the low lighting. And he's in a little burrow. But that's for him. A southern hairy nosed wombat. Even if you get one of the keepers in here, you just put down the wombat's I know, it's breakfast. Time I say, keepers never go in with the animals. Here they are. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a wombat. Far oh, bigger than I was expecting. Okay, just warning you, there is going to be a lot of noise. There are about, I don't know, 800 school-age children, elementary school-age children uh, on school field trips, end-of-the-year strip, you know, field trips. So it might be loud at some times, but typically the school groups are well-behaved, so I'll be able to see the, all the animals. Just might be a little loud sometimes. Just giving you guys fair warning. All right, we're on the outside of the exhibit now. We got a Cape Baron goose. Some nice looking birds. All right, the back part of the Australia section, you got a Western Grey kangaroo. See one here. See more of the kangaroo. They're like all over the place. It's just chilling. Got an emu. For some reason, the emu's in the uh, enclosure, not out walking around. All right, I finally found a map of Brookfield Zoo. You see. On the map up above says uh, you are here, so that's where I'm standing. Checking out the hoofed animals first. We already did Australia, which is just below the arrow. So I do my best to follow the, the trails around to see everything here. All right, back to your in camels. Those are two hump camels. Got two in here. Got one here. You got this dirty looking fellow here to the left. Looks like he was laying down. He's got all sorts of dirt and muck all over his hair. Alright, we got the Shawazi horse. 
You can see the Shivazi horse. This guy is uh, munching on the grass. You don't need a lawnmower with animals like this. Or in Habitat Africa. All right, Grevy Zebra. And they're back in their little house. See one standing outside and one inside. Up, oh, he's going in. Very early, see they must be feeding time. There we go. But the one's trying to go in, the other one's trying to come out. Oh, they came outside. I walked away for a second, came back, and they were outside. All right, we got Adax. Like these guys with those nice uh, curvy horns. All right, these are the Adax. Got one here, one towards the back. Put the over here munching on, munching on the grass. All right, we got some reticulated giraffes. A couple young looking giraffes. You got one of the larger. See the other one towards the back. These guys got a really nice size enclosure. Right, we're gonna go check out the hidden gems of the forest. All right, so we're gonna follow the trail around. There's different signs up along the way, giving you information about animals of the area. All right, I'll copy. These are one of my favorite zoo animals, just because they're so cool looking. Look like uh, part zebra. But they are also uh, related to the giraffe. We got a yellow backed duker. Oh, he certainly does. Just because he has a uh, yellow back doesn't make him a coward, though. He's a cute little animal. Alright, it's for you to go inside and check out some of the other animals now. This is cool coming in. Alright, African Dwarf Crocodile. It hey, doesn't look too much of a dwarf to me. Looks like a decent sized crocodile. Just relaxing out of the water at the moment. Alright, African Red Billed Hornbill. She came down to see me. Thank you. He's up high and behind some trees. I couldn't see him. A cute little one there. Oh, there you go. From inside, you can see the inside habitat for the Akapi. Got one of them there. I'm munching away on something. I'm not sure what he's eating. Look at an African white bellied penguin. Yeah, he's up here in his little tidy place. Put the camera right up by the glass. Try to get a better view of him. You can see him breathing. You got a West African gaboon viper. You can see him there, right in the bottom. Got a black and rufous giant elephant shrew. Okay, so our elephant shrews are in the back. Not in the main habitat. There we go. Sign here about the family ties of the Okapi to the giraffe. I got a red flanked duker. 
What's up, babies? What's up, hi? Aw. Hi, sweetheart. And you're a little nervous with the kids. Now we got Red River Hog. Got three of them in here. There's water! He's mentioned on some hay. This is how animals defecating helps the forest. Kind of gross, but it does help. Got some nice elephant figures. So the elephants eat the seeds, you know, eat the fruit with the seeds, and when they poop, the seeds are embedded in the dung. And it helps sprouts new, new growth. And right across from the hidden gems of the forest, you go and see the copy. Oh, we got birds in free flight. Different types of birds in this little area. They're all the different types of birds. Lots of other little birdies. All right, so the copy were not inside, so I'm gonna see if I can find them outside in uh, other part of the zoo, maybe. All right, gonna go see the African painted dogs. All right, African painted dog. <gasps> there they are. And there they are. Did you see the dogs, the puppies? Oh yes, she did. And then she got quickly bored. They are cute. Yeah, they have the name dog, but these aren't the type of dogs you want to go up and play fetch with. Mm. Very, very nice coloring on them. This is the backside African painted dogs habitat. I'm showing you the map again. There you go, check out the uh, Great Bear Wilderness next. All right, Great Bear Wilderness. All right, gonna see the American bison. American bison. I think that's the boss. I think that one. Yeah, the one that's eating off the tree. Yeah, I see the two. Wow. All right, along the way, heading towards the Great Bear Wilderness Trail, we come up to the Bear Crossing, which is a gift shop. I also have the Bison Prairie Grill. Just a menu inside the restaurant. All right, so I just purchased a refillable drink bottle, $14.60, but I get free drinks all day long and it helps with the zoo. And you get free refills all year long with the souvenir cup. So if you are a local, that's a way to do it. We're gonna go check out the Great Bear Wilderness Trail. Get a little mini map so you can see what you'll be seeing. All right, the bald eagle. A symbol for all. And right there. Get a lot better view kneeling down. Very pretty bird. You know, check out the Mexican wolves. Talks about the conservation of the wolves. Try and show you the female. She is right there up on the rock. She's three years old. But you can see the male. The female is up Male came here in January. Alright, polar bears. Be the polar bear. Very nice. Look 
he's uh, stretching. What's up, buddy? There's another polar bear. But polar bear here has nice water. You go with swimming in. This is that first polar bear's habitat. So he has nice water to go in also. Also got grizzly bears. Two grizzly bears. Got this one in the back. Sleeping. And you got this one right here. Right by the glass. All right, this is the other side view. Without the glass causing reflection. There's the bear that was in the back. Still sleeping. But they have a nice, nice habitat. You see the trail that they've basically grooved with their walking around. And of course they have you exit into a gift shop. All right, I didn't purchase anything in the gift shop because I already got my Brooksfield Zoo hat that I got when I first came in the zoo. I usually always get a hat the places I go to. It's a cheap, collectible, and it serves a purpose keeping my head from burning. All right, this next area called the Living Coast. All right, heading inside. All life from microbic to gigantic rely on water. It's so very, very true. All right, gonna see a couple different things in this in this tank. Got a little shrimp in there to clean the tank too. Wow, this tank is fantastic. This tank holds invasive species that are nat natural to the Great Lakes. This little habitat holds several different animals. Very nice looking habitat. We're going this way. No, not this way. There's stuff down below. Swimming around. I think a lot of the little little animals in here are hiding. Or they blend in very well. The fish you will see in this big giant tank. That's some rays gliding around. Some little fish. Oh, I thought that was actually someone talking. That it was! Called moon jellies. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. These are Jellyfish. really, really beautiful to see. There's all the fish that are in this very, very large tank. You see a leopard shark. Awesome looking. tanks with some multiple different types of fish. And the coral reef stuff is real. Wow. Cool shark. Inside this tank. See a pot bellied seahorse. Alright, fish you will see in this tank. Lots of very, very colorful fish story. See, everybody know who Dory is. Everyone knows. 
Yes, the blue tang is probably one of the most recognizable fish now. There's clownfish in here also. But I haven't been able to see one. Oh, there's one. There's one of the bad. You got multiple different types of seabirds. You got gray gold with an Inca turn. So the gray gold. That's an Inca turn. We got a humble penguin. There they are. It's not very Slightly underneath this log, curled up. Got a Salmon Island leaf frog. Nice looking little froggy. Here we got a Chilean rose tarantula. Hi. Nice looking spider. We got a Texas blind pea salamander. This area has a large gift shop called Coast Gifts. Also a Cafe de Sol. This is sort of a food court. From the grill. Southwest favorites. There's a grab and go, fresh favorites. And sweet treats corner. I'm right, showing you the map again. Where we are, we're gonna go inside feathers and scales. I'm gonna check out reptiles and birds. All right, feathers and scales, let's go. All right, Waddled Crusoe. What's up? Guys, we're at the door. Let's check out everybody. How are you doing? There's his friend. Look at a crested wood partridge. See him right there. We got a beautiful fruit dove. Hey, beautiful. And we got a jumbo fruit dove. I know, I think he's equally beautiful. Extreme monitor. This guy's right by the little fog vent. Another big guy up on the other side. A Demerol Boa. Wow. Good sized snake. We got a Madagascar Spire Tortoise. You guys having some lunch, looks like. They're close by it. Got a Catalina Island Rattles Rattlesnake. That's kind of an oxymoron right there. There's two of them. I said, this looks good. He said, you look good. Got a rosy boa. It's called a Grevy's Monitor. Right on top of this big branch. Runs in very well. Oh, the Jamaican boa. That's a nice coloring to him. It's a gray banded king snake. There's nobody in this. All right, he's cool looking. Got an Aruba Island rattlesnake. Right here in the corner of his tank. We got a Rio Forte 
bearded lizard. Yeah, one of them are walking around. And then you got another one right here with his head sticking out. Looks like a log fell on him, but it didn't. Got a Victorian crown pigeon. That is one big pigeon. What's up, bud? How you doing? Very nice looking bird, huh? And we got a Bally Mina. Nice little white bird. Oh, we got an Eastern Masada. Snakey right there. All right, we got a cottonmouth. For all the little kids here, there's fingerprints all over the glass. Makes it a little bit harder to see. We got a Chicago garter snake. We also got an eastern fox snake. In the same tank. So the eastern fox snake. And then the Chicago garter snake. Is right up on the right up on this log. Now we got a peacock here. Nice looking bird. All right, next up is reptiles and more birds. To be inside this building. Entrances are on either side. All right, got Lake Tinica Frog. See one here at the bottom. You can really get a hold of his breath. And we got a red-eyed tree frog. I'm sure there's more than these two in here. If you got misters going in here. So it makes it hard to see any other ones, but nice looking frog. Oh, we got a Jamaican iguana. This is one big iguana. I'm going to attack the tortoise in here. We got a desert tortoise, Holmes ringeback tortoise, and a radiated tortoise. Very easy to tell a radiated tortoise. Has this unique shell shape. There are other two types of tortoise are here in the back. Right, we've got a Mexican bearded lizard. Looks like there's two of them. One outside and the other inside. You can see his tail. Got a poppin' olive python. Up here on top of this tree. The San Esteban Island Chakwala. That's some very interesting coloring. It's a peach stooded monitor. Wow, that's really cool. That's some unique coloring. We've got a reticulated python. These snakes can grow pretty large as well as some of the other big species. Got an emerald tree boa. And there he is up in a tree. There are some cool looking snakes. Got a prehensile tailed skink. All the way in the back. Unrelated boa. There we go. All right, Puerto Rican boa. African rock python. African rock python. Very nice. Uh, Puerto Rican boa has a very nice spot to relax. So I just hollowed out log. Got a Barone's Green Racer. He's all coming down. See his little snaky tail up in the tree. A spiny tailed monitor. Nice looking lizard. Alright, Gilla Monster. Taking a nap. All right, and finally 
we got Cayman Lizard. He is up on his tree branch. Back up a little bit, you can see all of his tail. Got some pelicans. Wow. Wow, these are awesome looking birds. Alright, showing the map again. You gotta check out the Tropic World and Primates. Alright, Tropic World. Right, so this area has multiple different types of animals and birds. Alright, you got a Gold's Monkey here. See a giant ant eater. Big old fluffy tail. Hopefully he supplies guy lots of ants. So lots of squirrel monkeys. And another ant eater. And I think that might be the two toothed sloth right in there. I think that's him right there. So this is a really nice thing, exhibit right here. Got all sorts of different animals, all mingling together. The birds are more than likely up high, so I can't really see the birds. All right, checking out Asia next. The animals we will see in Asia: Bornean orangutan. That'd be cool to see. Asian small clawed otter. You see the white cheek gibbon. See the orangutan up here sleeping. Partially covered up. Oh, there we go. So this is also a very large habitat. See a couple more of the white cheek gibbon. Even the one that has all white furs also referred to as a white cheek gibbon. See the baby otters right here in the little nest. Very, very cute. The birdies. Finally saw a bird. The orangutan came out of hiding. Very nice. All right, next up, Africa. These are the animals you'll find in Africa. Russian lowland gorilla, that's nice. This is another fantastic habitat. Oh yeah, family coming out. I see a big gorilla. Wow. A couple more down below. We got the baby. Going down. Baby's gonna follow, maybe. Bye. Real cool. Pretty sure this one's name's Allie. And she's the smallest one, born in 2018. There's only Columbus monkeys. But the one's getting groomed by the other. The highest part of the trail. Really good view. Yeah, you see the mommy here. She's got the little bitty baby with her. I was born this past year. All right, so the tropic world with all the apes, different enclosures, habitats were fantastic, very, very nicely done. Kudos to you, Brooksville Zoo. All right, got the keys here with all their babies, all their chicks. Aw. Well, a bunch of them. Nine babies. That's quite impressive. 
Yeah. Gonna drink. We're gonna go check out the pachyderms. All right, eastern black rhinoceros. Very cool. I imagine a rhino would sound stuffy all the time. How could a rhino even See a pygmy hippo. Wow. So he's going to find some mud to lay in, maybe? Yeah. Oh, big yawn. Got a lowland taper. Right, so our taper is all the way in the back. Taking a nap. All right, so we saw the rhinos, the hippos, and the uh, tapers. They do not have elephants here at the zoo at the moment. It's a nice statue of the eastern black rhinoceros. Okay, you see in the map again. We went to Tropic World, and I went over to see the pachyderms. So we're going to head over to the swamp next. All right, so going into the swamp. Now this is nice. Come into a mangrove forest. So, representation of a mangrove swamp. So you would see in Louisiana or parts of the Everglades. Here we get a white ibis and a rosebill puckered. Let's see our white ibis. A Rosabeel Packard. Trying to get a better view of him. He's just, uh, yeah, cleaning his feathers. Alright, this American alligator. Snowflake is an albino. See these guys in Florida, Gator World. This is Snowflake on loan. Uh, the keeper here isn't really sure where it's on loan from, but more than likely on loan from Florida. It's called a false water cobra. Got two of them in here. I'm not sure what false is about it. You know? Maybe that isn't like water or that he's not a cobra. I'm not sure. Oh, we got a Haitian boa. The Haitian bow is right here on top of all of the logs and branches. Let's say a green crested basilisk. I like the other stingray at the bottom. A green crested basilisk hanging out on the branch. Some white blotched river stingrays. There's our white blotted stingray. And sucker mouth catfish. Here you can see the sucker mouth catfish. These guys uh, clean algae off the glass. All right, we got some red bellied short neck turtles and Bossman's rainbow fish. See the rainbow fish swimming all around. And over here, you can see our red bellied short neck turtle. Got another one here. Just swimming around. It's interesting. Head to head crocodiles versus alligators. See, the crocodiles got the V shaped, while the alligators have a U shaped snout. This part of the habitat has a Renico crocodile. One here and then one over to the side. Try to angle my camera. Here we got a Chinese giant salamander. This guy really blended in. But you can see him moving now. We'll see a blue winged teal, 
A rosette spoonbill and a redhead. Rosette spoonbill is very easy to tell. So we'll see a great egret and a wood duck. See our great egret. And two of our nice little wood ducks playing their feathers. What's up? Another view of our spoonbill. Oh, we got a mangrove snake. Now this is a nice looking snake. Like his coloring stripes. Alright, North American River Otter. You can see him in the back. These guys are not always in the water. Up here on the dry part, trying to take a nap. I guess you can't sleep and swim at the same time. Alligator snapping turtle. These things are huge. Okay, right outside the swamp exhibit to the right, you'll see the south gate. I came in through the north gate. All right, directly across from the swamp exhibit, you see the Hamel family play zoo. This is an upcharge area. So it'd be five dollars to go see this. Okay, so I did the choose three attractions and save for ten dollars. I chose to do this to Hamel family play zoo. Also, I chose the Hamel family wild encounters and dolphins in action. Right, right inside the Hamel family play zoo, they got a common raven. Hello? Hello? Sometimes they talk. Maybe this guy is uh, doesn't speak. Animal homes. This is a uh, play area for the kids. We got some ring-tailed lemurs. What's up, buddy? Ring-tailed lemur. All right, so we're going to go inside now. Inside, you get a better view of the lemurs at Lemur Leap. Got a tamandua. That's him, he's so cute. Wow. I've never seen one of these in a zoo. So the inside has different exhibits aimed at the uh, small children. You got zoo at home. You got zoo workshops. And more information on teaching kids about net different habitats. Different information here. Different workshops. Alright, we're gonna go check out Hamill Family Wild Encounters. Alright, first up is goats. Because the goats in there eating. Got a couple goats over here playing headbutt. Got some llamas. Got our two llamas in the back. Ooh, he's got an itch, he's got an itch. Wow, they got reindeer. Wow. It's one of the few times that I've actually seen reindeer at a zoo. I didn't realize that caribou and reindeer are the same animal. <gasps> they got red panda. This is the red panda. Oh, they got wallabies and an emu. All right, so here we're gonna see a Bennett's wallaby. Very, very cute. Kind of like sitting on his tail. You look comfortable. And a couple more. So there's one of the uh, zoo staff inside of the wallabies and emu set, you know, section, and I inquired about where the emus were. Well, the emus apparently were pulled out for the season because they were getting weird and chasing people. They don't want to have that. All right, they also have parakeets. Let's see parakeets. Oh. Now, these are very popular pets. There are lots of them. You often see these for sale in pet stores also. Alright, showing you the map again. 
We came from the Hamill family play zoo and we are over here at the Seven Seas. You're going to see a dolphin show. All right, it's in the Seven Seas. All right, we're going to go downstairs and see an underwater viewing. This is cool on the wall here. How do you measure up? The height of them or length. We're going to see bottlenose dolphins in their underwater habitat. In the underwater viewing area. Right. Dolphins watching what the kids are doing. Yeah. Sounds like the coins are probably excited to cool. Yeah. 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 Very curious animals. If you keep playing, keep playing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right, right across from the dolphins, we're going to see uh, Pennant Point, which is home of the seals and sea lions. Alright, these are California sea lions. All over. Just like with the dolphins, you have changing it. Yeah. Play with it, they come over to look. He'd grab that if he could. Take it right under your ears. He's not looking, he's seeing, he's hearing the it's sound. Like, what is that? It's, it's unusual. Oh, look like he tapped his uh, hands together. He's probably expecting a tip for his performance. <laughs> All right, give me some money now. I want to buy some fish. <laughs> that is so cool. It's above you. All right. That's a gray seal and California sea lion. The seal's a lot bigger, I think. I believe that's what it is. The California sea lion. Cool. Alright, right before the Seven Seas Dolphins, you'll see BZ's Red Hot. It's a hot dog stand. And this is a female peacock. You saw the male peacock a little bit earlier. The females do not have all the bright coloring. They're just a brown color. Because the males have to attract these. And the more colorful the males are, the more attractive they are to these uh, females. And someone pointed out the male to me, I was showing you the, the difference. Of course, his feathers are all folded, but they are nice, brightly colored. Alright, showing you the map one last time. See where I am. I'm going to be checking out the last three exhibits. Got Big Cats, Desert's Edge, and Cloud of Leopard Rainforest. Alright, Big Cats. All right, African lion. All right, looking at the two lions here. See that lion? The male lion is the one on the left. He's just uh, thinning. Yeah. And the lioness laying down is right next to him. I feel your pain, buddy. I too am follically challenged. All right, sloth bears. Nearly up moving around. Man, the one on the left is real fuzzy. All right, Amur Tigers. Wow. My daughter, who I used to bring from the time she was that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the lady was saying lions and tigers and bears, oh my. We saw all three. Got a wet belly. Yeah. All right, snow leopard. Snow leopard. Just relaxing. Love these things. They're beautiful animals. All right, another emmer leopard. There's the emmer leopard. Wow. 
walking around. All right, gonna go inside Desert's Edge. Oh, I love these little critters, meerkats. Hi, meerkats. How you keep fuzzy guys doing? So cute and fuzzy. Don't be too loud and scare them. Are they cute and fuzzy? All right, Cape Porcupine. All right, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. He's on the other side of this hay. But he's right here, you can see his quills. Oh, this is cool, mole bats. So they got naked mole rats, which don't have any fur. And then the Dermaland mole rats that have the fur. They are so cute. Not as cute as the meerkats, but you know, they're still really cute. Like their feet. As you can see, these guys got quite the habitat to go through all the different tubes and all the different tanks. Alright, we got Rock Hyrex. When I'm just chilling here by itself. Then you got a nice group of them right here. And across the way, you got a Caracol. Caracol's there on the bottom by the door. Maybe looking for some food. All right, we got a bat-eared fox. Got another one over here. All right, black-footed cat. There's the black-footed cat. Gosh, looks like a house cat. All right, snow leopard. Oh, wow. Got two of them by the class here. These are last of the big cats in the big cats area. All right, last exhibit area I'm going into is the clouded leopard rainforest. All right, inside here. All right, we got a yellow spotted climbing toad. Here we got two of them that I can see. Got one here, one over here. All right, the clouded leopard. Namesake animal for this exhibit. I've got quite the habitat. All right, a fishing cat. Huh. Look on the water for some fish. Look at your cute kitty cat. We got a tentacled snake. There he is. Very interesting looking. And we got a Thai bamboo racer. Our Thai bamboo racer. It's a nice colored snake. All right, we got a Previt squirrel. Let's see if I can find this guy. All right, so the clatter leopard is obviously uh, in a hiding spot, not able to see him or her. Well, I'm not having much luck seeing animals in this exhibit. All right, so I'm back towards the north entrance where I came in, right next to the carousel. 
All right, the carousel. All right, so tickets are three dollars or dollar fifty for members. All right, so you can see the carousel. This is also an upcharge. Definitely tell it's a zoo carousel because unlike regular horse, they have all sorts of different zoo animals. Got a nice looking water garden. A sculpture of a stork. Alright, North O Post is where I got my hat this morning. So you have assorted zoo type souvenirs. So you got lots of stuffed animals, lots of selection of shirts and hats. Yeah, I also have wagon rentals. Pricing. You also have another gift shop called Stuffed Animal Kingdom. So this is the toy shop. The outpost is for clothing. Big old giant stuffed giraffes. Lots of other animals. That's cool, they got North American animals. Reptiles and lizards. All sorts of stuff. Big old giant snakes. Colorful stuff. Oh, Norwal. Some monkeys. Look at more authentic looking snakes with scales. See all the other animals. Big giant gorilla. Looks like a sloth. Giant caterpillar. More aquatic stuffed animals. Seals and dolphins. Got all big cats. Some monkeys and lemurs. Get this giant tiger stuffed animal for six hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. That's quite a deal. But they got more manageable sizes and prices. And they got personalized mugs. Get a lot of school groups here, so for the kid that can't choose between candy and a stuffed animal, well, they can get both for $5.99. All right, saying goodbye to Brookfield Zoo. All right, everybody, that was Brookfield Zoo in Chicago, Illinois. Very, very impressed with the fantastic exhibits and closures that they have for the animals. I can see they're all very well taken care of. I had a fantastic time. Hope you guys enjoyed viewing my video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I need subscribers. I'm trying to grow my channel. I enjoy going to lots of different places. I will continue to go to different places. But if you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed my video. Leave me some comments or questions. I like hearing from people. I always return a comment or question to everybody. Thank you for viewing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.